Andrew, I remember last offseason, Coach Mart was talking about you know challenging you to be a more vocal leader. Now you're going your junior season. What's that process been like for you, kind of growing into a leadership role? Obviously, he talks all the time about how important leadership is. What's your personal leadership journey been like? Um, it was difficult at first, I would say, because I'm more of a you know, quiet person. So that was an adjustment for me at first. Like last year, it was more of like a leading by example type of thing. But this year, I'm stepping into like a more vocal leadership role. Did you uh, have that responsibility in high school? Um, yeah, I did a little bit. Um, it was a little bit of both me and Jamari, you know, being like the other guys on the team, like my junior senior year, being the leader. Are you comfortable dealing with all of this? I am. I am. Can they hear you when you say something? They do. <laughs> <but> yeah. <laughs> What's it like to replace Lamont there in the middle? I mean, he's obviously such a good center, and that's, you know, the offensive line has high expectations. What's the challenge of finding the new guy in the middle going to be like? Um, it's a big task. The center is a very important job, but um, we have some talented guys. Trey's doing really well right now. We'll see going to practice how he does. But we have a lot of bets around him, so whoever takes the spot, I think it'll be okay. How will Coley being the OC affect the offensive line? Uh, the offensive line, um, I don't think it will change much. I mean, it's the same attitude. Like we want to be physical, we want to be dominant, uh, protect the quarterback. What did you think of your time up in Indianapolis? Uh, it was a great time. It was a little eye-opening. I learned a lot of things about like financial literacy and things like that that I didn't know like much about, like far as like NFL contracts. Like, like once you get your contract, they take 42 percent off, like right off the bat. I didn't realize that and things like that. Just you know, understanding how a professional is. What's the one thing you took away from that that you just really surprised you? Um, that, <laughs> that and uh, it's really a business. Like you have to come to work every day. Like they're every day they're trying to replace you, so you have to you know, be in your game every day. Freshman year, you were at right tackle, then you moved to left tackle. Do you feel like you're settling more at left tackle after a year? Yeah, I think I'm, I'm pretty set at left tackle. Um, the transition was, I think, pretty smooth, so I'm pretty set. Well, your name is going to be mentioned a lot in draft conversations next year. How much do you, or do you think you'll allow yourself to pay attention to that when it comes up? I try not to pay too much attention to it. Um, I feel like it's just a distraction. I can't, you know, be complacent. I, I got to continue to work because that's the only way I get to where I want to be. How much more comfortable are you going into this year than maybe years past where you're either trying to start a right tackle or making a tackle? Um, I think I'm, I'm very um, I'm very set at left tackle, so I think it's going to be uh, pretty good year for me. How about the schedule? I know you guys have been working so hard in off-season conditioning. Any talk amongst the players about starting on the road against an SEC opponent, a and and Notre Dame coming to town? Um, no, we haven't really talked much about the season uh, that much. We've just been focusing on you know us getting better and and faster and stronger in the weight room. What are your thoughts about that, those elements? Um, I think we're going to approach you know, every game the same, regardless of who's in front of us, who we play. I think it's going to be the same approach, regardless. You mentioned Jamari earlier. Mm -hmm. You know, you guys both go in the same high school. Um, how much have you kind of talked to him lately? There do seem to be more openings on the O line to kind of get him ready to take a bigger role potentially. Yeah, uh, Jamari, he's had a pretty good offseason. Um, I'm excited to see what he's going to do. Uh, he's been moving around some different positions, so I'm, I'm not sure yet what Coach Pittman is going to put him in, but hopefully he gets a chance to play first spot. You obviously open a lot of holes for the running game. This year you're going to find a new guy to do what Elijah Holyfield did for you last year. What do you think that process is going to be like? Um, I think it's going to be very interesting, like with everybody help, like everybody healthy coming back, um, just to see like who's going to take that spot. Um, I'm excited to see some of the competition. So are you putting up the same kind of uh, waiver numbers in Cleveland? Uh, no. Close enough. <laughs> One more question. What is, it, what is a successful spring practice for you? For me, um, well, just talking, going back earlier to being uh, a vocal leader, um, I think I have the office pretty down packed. I'm still working on some technique things, but like just being a more dominant president on the field, uh, being a leader out there, that's the biggest thing for me. Thank you.